humans are sadly but truthfully the only species on this planet how to disappear will benefit anything from the sea from the sky from the animals to the forest anything no benefit if humans disappear that's the way we act now but we can make a difference if we want you have to only to waken up from our so-called horrific nightmare that we call it anthropocentrism anthropocentrism is the astounding belief that human life by definition is more sacred and more holy than anything else and therefore deserve protection over anything else it's a weak excuse also but it is forced by the majority of humanity by the governments on them and has been silenced by anybody that refused to accept it because they are use logic and been aware insect for one example without uh, insects we have a um, dirty uh, plant a lot of them being cleaners the forest and eat the rotten trees up and depose them so that they now oh, or again new plants can grow pollinators without pollinators like bees, butterflies and other insects the plants where we and most other animals on this planet and that can survive about something like 75% of all the animal species on the planet are herbivore plant-eating creatures primarily plant-eating creatures maybe they can accidentally sometimes eat uh, some insects but that's not what they need to survive and that's most of the time only accidentally if it all happens I don't go to hunting to murder with attention with intentional precision all night have been responsible for the growing of flowers pollinators are responsible for the growing of vegetables and of tree bar tree uh, fruit trees because they stick on the flowers and eat from the stamen and then I spread the seed of the male uh, stamen to the female part of the um, plant and then there forms fruit So funny. We're anti anti abortionists. <laughs> I broke you argument now completely. Because fetuses are not sensuous. Maybe shocking for some of you. <laughs> but fetuses ex expect you. 
before uh, something like a four month of uh, four months four or five months been in Celsius there are no sensual nervous system and there are also those can survive out of the womb also so for seven months if there are the fetus is seven months there also that can survive out of the womb most of the time they become heal a very sick if they are can and therefore any uh, abortion before seven months is meaningless to discuss but humans are full of um, dogmas the life of um, phytoplankton for one example and the phytoplankton populations of the world being disappear for the people that don't know what a phytoplankton is a phytoplankton is one tiny marine plant but you not can see with the naked eye but this tiny marine plant is responsible for 70% of all the oxygen on earth the rainforest also very important for the planet is responsible for around something like four percent the phytoplankton are being disappeared with 40 percent since the industrialized revolution also known also from 50 years ago that actually become grow because of acidification of the seas mainly to animal agriculture because they're pollutes around the back so much polluted uh, that it acidifies the sea and create ocean death zones so owners in the world were not uh, possible and more because of not cyanobacteria because of cyanotoxins a kind of fungus bacteria created by extremely acidificates and sick cyanobacteria this cyanobacteria was around something like 3.5 billion years ago responsible for the first creation of oxygen and therefore the reason that the first life was possible on this planet and began on the uh, small organisms one single organisms that have decided later on to work together to form more complex organisms understand? take to go uh, together and sometimes they choose to live inside each other so that the one of the fetal plankton uh, the one of the cell can work um, to do something uh, more protected with their time and there in this way they create the first single organisms out of uh, uh, the <laughs> next uh, single or more complex organisms because a cell can only grow so big on its own and later on they create um, fish, fish animals and shrimp like a species and a lot of them 
Lord of the Sea animals later will become to live on the land and grow in um, bigger sizes and evolve to dinosaurs and some uh, other animals that live in that time. So. You have to learn to think out of ourselves. Human beings see themselves as something separate from the rest. And this is an optional illusion of consciousness. This will also make us very arrogant. And it's only allowed us to give compassion to people or animals close to us. Like our family members, our family dog. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison of cognitive dissonance and spreading our compassion to all living beings. Not some that we choose to give compassion. So because all living beings are being in the serving of our compassion. All living beings can choose to illogical or can be uh, choose to be logical. Either way, it is a choice. Be before they uh, become hunger, even the carnivores can choose to be kind. So, uh, uh, hunger turns a lot of species into uh, psychotic savages. So can you all see it? It's the way I see it. But before they can choose to be compassionate. And so, it's not more around moral to give compassion to all innocent living beings instead to pick and choose to which to be kind and to which to be mean. Humanity's main focus have always to be to give compassion to weaker earthlings, to weaker species in this whole being of life, in this whole world of samsara, like the Buddha teaching told. Peace begins on the dinner table, people. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't can pray for peace and then do hypocritical violent things. You be kind around the table. Or you be not. You don't can choose. To be kind to one and be cruel to another. Now, doing something cruel and knowing better is pure evil. Anybody knows, um, at least those people in the Western world know that you don't uh, kick a dog. So why is it uh, okay to cut the throat of one uh, pig in a slaughterhouse? Only because you... Uh, your cult, your want to say that so that it is okay. There's discrimination, mate. The speciesism. Speciesism is an attitude or bias in favor of the human species. Just like racism is an attitude or bias in favor of the of the white man or the black man if you're being a black man. 
just like sexism is a prejudice or bias in favor of your own sex. Just like heterosexism is a prejudice or bias in favor of your own sexual privilege. Uh, like in the most ways is it um, being there to um, use against heterosexist, heterosexist man and woman that force their heterosexist lifestyle on gay people. Peace. I've always to trump violence. The law is not justice. The law is power. Holocaust was once legal in the law. So was colonialism. So was white supremacism, also known as slavery. And so was Sat Sati, burning the widows of uh, deceased husbands with their deceased husbands on the fire. It's all was a lot of other stuff. So, don't win a fool. Don't use excuses that you also don't want that some other use when you win a victim. Am I mad? <sighs> because if you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victim, put the stuff away. But when you are the victim, it seems to look a little different from that angle. There's no excuse against veganism. If you uh, look it from the, even if you look it from the human rights perception, because you feed around something like 60% to 70% of all the grains and all the lentils and, and all, the, all the greens, all the lentils, all the soy and all the other plant products so uh, 60 billion animal, land animals in the most biggest atrocity ever taking place. They cut the animals, their throats, they steal the babies. They use them like inanimate objects. Just like slave masters once have done by black people. Victor's mind, mindset, that's what it been. Have you ever heard from this? Something like that is always what I say. You don't matter because you've been different. Because you've been a pig, you've been a dog, you've been one black people, you've been a Jew, you've been etc. Because you've been less intelligent than me. Because you are uh, taller than me, you because you've been shorter than me, you don't matter because I don't like your face. That's what the base has been from discrimination. Discrimination is based on arbitrary criteria that make actually no moral significance. Because if you want to use that somebody is, that the, uh, some animals are I mean, less intelligent and therefore we have the right to kill them, then you also can say that we have the right to kill mental uh, people with a mental disability. You can also say that we uh, have the right to kill people in poor countries because they have, a le or have uh, no education and therefore have a lower IQ score. You can also say uh, that we. Um, have uh, the right to kill um, 
Africa and America people because their score lower than white uh, people general in uh, IQ test not on all spectrum but if you look to uh, the estimates that I have looked on this because uh, and uh, you can look after a lot of explanation for understand why not to bad but I should put only one uh, explanation how uh, that kind of reasoning can also uh, excuse racism or uh, sexism or classism understand what I want to say? I hope so I don't know if we're not on this planet for for humans just like black people be not on this planet for uh, white cis males who are who are um, white cis um, females or also not uh, that uh, hate, that the uh, gays they're being to be uh, uh, objects of hatred for uh, For uh, for uh, heterosexual for hetero people, just like uh, a lot of other groups to be known for their oppressors, just like slaves, or these was once uh, law but injustice, and segregation was once law and injustice. So is animal agriculture and all his. Uh, Sister organizations are being law, but injustice. Martin Luther King, I've all his son, I've also say it. Uh, Dex Scott King. So, um, uh, politics. Actually, question: Is it uh, politically correct? Um, so, fairly ask question: Is it um, safe? And uh, Confucius asked the question: Is it moral? And come and come the wrong day, and a and a common day that you have to take a position that is neither right and it's neither safe or popular. What you Confucius say that it is okay and that it is right, and you have to stand for it, no matter the costs. Revolutions been they're always created by small groups that be not afraid to speak up who were there in belief. Malcolm X have once said you are not supposed to be so full with patriotism that you don't can face reality. Wrong is a wrong, no matter how say it or how do it. And the same is for patriotism for uh, anthropocentrism. New different victim, same scenario. Fine that you have listened to my speech. I hope that you think about it. And for now, when darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away, and the true become uh, visible.